Hello everyone, my name is Lothorn and welcome to the second part of the Vampirism Showcase where we are looking at the Vampire Hunters, the Hunters of Vampires, the cool dudes with the crossbows, the stakes, and all that good stuff. And, well, I'm not going to get into nearly as much detail with this. You can find more details in my other guides. And, well, just try it out for yourself. Anyways, let's get into it. And while Vampire Hunters are a completely different story to get su set up and level up in, they are equally cool in their own right of things they can do. And you can become one through the powers of magic and cheats by going slash vampirism. Then you can go all the way down to level, set level type hunter, and then go 14 for Lorthorn, please, or whatever your name is. And then you get the max level of Vampire Hunter dum dum. And then you got your own list of level ups. You, you, you can't... Um, do any appearance changes, but you got um, becoming the hunter, staking things, hunter table, you got disguises, which uh, reduces your visibility rates towards mobs and players, so you can make yourself invisible. That's new, that's fun. Um, you can make potions, you can make multi bruin, you can increase your attack speed, you can use double crossbows. Really, the only table you should care about, like, there's vampire awareness and improved diffusing and all this stuff and using garlic diffusers and there's all this fun stuff with potions but the only thing you really should care about is uh using advanced weapons enchanted armor technology and um how to actually use a stake which instantly kills any vampire ncc from behind stakes as long as its max house is below 200. so you can wreck the vampires and you can disguise yourself which i guess makes you harder to see you have a fade distance that's kind of fun and cool also, I mean, some other levels you can still do stuff in, like you can activate vampire repelling and holy water get in, I guess, if you'd want for some reason. And if you're a vampire hunter, then why not have a fancy vampire base? I mean, the vampires get a mansion, and you're not going to hang out one of those vampire camps. So you're going to go to the hunter's secret hideout, which is cool. You got garlic growing in the back. Yep, that's right, there's garlic, and you can grow it. Very useful stuff. It's delicious too, very good for vampire hunters. And you can have your own cool base, running water to repel them, nice little pools, hidden underground. You got a cell set up right to capture vampires in. You got all your cool vampire gear all put away in its appropriate spots. You got your smithing table, got your potion making table. You can do a whole bunch of vampire potion making. You can make hunters tools. That's right, vampire hunters get their own tools and they're pretty badass. You ever seen uh, what is it called? You ever seen Van Helsink with Hugh Jackman? Well, you can get that freaking crossbow. So there is this enchanted semi-automatic crossbow. It's incredibly expensive. It requires a bigger crafting table than normal. Oh, oh, baby. Is this thing beautiful. You load her up. And she gets loaded with a stack of bolts. And then you can just fire to your heart's content. And, oh, it's good. But what is a vampire hunter without cool digs to be wearing at the same time as well as wielding the cool weapons? And oh, what digs there are. If there's a basic enchanted swift items, which are there's the swiftness leggings and all that stuff, which makes you slightly faster than normal and they're kind of all lame and yellowy. No one likes those. Then there's the silly hats and the obsidian gear, as well as the garlic bread. You can do some baking with garlic bread. Mmm, delicious and poor part of a vampire hunter's diet. Gives you garlic blood. The obsidian gear makes you slightly slower, but gives you sort of ominous I am the tank now. And you can also get it with the red flavoring in it, making the obsidian chest pieces of hell. For some reason, the hell stuff is for a vampire hunter. And then there's the um, obsidian chest piece of hell ultimate edition, which... Uh, well, each one of them requires the Vampire Hunter table to make, and this is a reward for a task you do, gain the ultimate one, he upgrades it. But they... I mean, they got cool patterns. But then, ooh, it comes, comes to the real cool stuff, like the hat. Look at this hat. Well, there's a better hat than this hat. Oh, yes, sir, indeed, or you know. For there is the actual swiggity sooty vampire gear that enhances your bootity. Kind of the frumpy hat no one cares about but then there's this cloak Ooh, nice overcloak I like it then there's these pants they pull up all the way up to your waist and then top it all off oh we got some nice boots and just look at that we throw in 
a vampire hunter's axe for effect. And oh, what a killer we are. It also makes us much better at fighting vampires. This is actually absurdly good armor. These hunter's coats, very, very, very good. And there's the upgraded ultimate armor, which has two armor and two toughness. I don't even know what, uh, what's netherite even look like? Let's see, netherite. So netherite is three, three and knockback resistance. And the best vampire gear that's not the obsidian stuff, because the obsidian stuff's pretty good, is uh, obsidian helm is actually the same, so the ultimate obsidian helm is actually better. Man, make yourself the ultimate stuff. But there's the golden layer, and this stuff is basically almost as good as obsidian. That's 8-3, and this is 2-9. So a slightly different direction, but yeah, you can get the golden buttons on your armor and a nice little golden rim around the hat, so you can upgrade the hat. Make it look cool, make it look slick. Oh, look at that. Uh, and that's pretty nice with the golden buttons. Or you can go with the ultimate gear, which gives you this little blue thing in front of your face. I am personally a fan of the El Clasico Hunter's hats, the tall one and the wide one here. I think they look best. I really like the wide one. And the tall one's got its own flair to it. It's sort of like a top hat. You're like uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter with your axe. Axe is hits hard. Uh, deals 20% more damage against vampires. Wowza. And you can upgrade it all the way to... There's the Diamond Hunter Axe. Has its own cost. Does a lot of damage. And then... 50% more to vampires, this thing, the vampires aren't going to know what hits them. Basically, vampires, ooh, we get buffs, we're so much stronger, check us out, we're super cool. Vampire hunter equals vampires dead. So vampires, you can be super cool, you can do a whole bunch of stuff, you can just hang out and have fun with things. And a vampire hunter is, you're going to die, vampire, you're going to die good. Then there is, of course, the vampire hunter lords, much like there's vampire lords, there's vampirism... Uh, Lord level five for Glorthorn. And they got their own list of lordy levels. Lordy lord, oh lord. There be vampire hunters. They also got holy splash potions and holy water. They got normal enchanted semi automatic crossbows. They got crossbows that fire three shots at once. And do. Of course, they got the blood potions. Can't forget about the blood potions. And they got the Vampire Hunter equipment gear, so you can recruit Vampire Hunters to your cause. So you can go, uh, Oi! You there! Boy! Um, seems to be a repute hunter, but I'm not serving someone other than... Okay, right. Well, you guys are just being difficult. Oh, these are advanced... I want... This vampire hunters. There we go. Right. You're there. Bo um. Wow, they're, they're finicky, aren't they? Anyways, holy water splash potions can be crafted. There's the more kinds of crossbow boats than normal. We've got the crossbow boats of Spitfire, which is alchemical fire. You've got the obsidian vampire killers. Instantly kills low-level vampire NPCs. You've got normal corals. We got the stakes. This thing just fires like a machine gun, multiple bolts at once. All right, you lamos. There we go. Got ourselves a minion. Just go to a camp to get them. And the minion's much the same. You can go, hey, minion. You can upgrade their stats. You can then go, let's look at them. Okay, what are your hat types? So you can give them a whole bunch of different hats to wear. You can say, wear no hats. Hats are lame. Then you can go. Here's a whole bunch of different skills for vampire hunters. Got them. There's some, some very anime weeby ones, some less anime weeby ones. Oh my gosh, we found the best skin. And, oh, which hat should we give him? Could give him the headband. No hat. Uh, there we go. Best, best skin with no hat. We can also make him use our skin, which is, oh my, no, thank you. And then they have their own orders, which is defend lord, collect resources, and... Bish Bash Boss, you got yourself a vampire hunter boy who's off to collect gold and various other things for you. 
Very nice, and then you can just go, take that sheep. They could be vampires. Anything could be a vampire. Back! Back! And then the ultimate vampire hunter axe. Oh, this thing's slow. But boy, does it do damage to vampires. Actually, case in point. If you guys want mine, I'm trying to prove something here. Any moment now. Nope. Right. There's a vampire. Don't quite get night vision, but it's like, hey, vampire! Bam! Instantly dead. Okay, let's let's try this again at the Vampire Hunter base. Uh, examples being lost on the normal masses. Secret base. Right. Advanced vampire, and then we're just like, bam! Ow! Okay, well, they're a little bit tougher than us. But, you get the point, you get the idea. And if you no longer want to be a vampire hunter, then you take yourself a vial of vampire blood. Signware injector. You make it by combining a bunch of vampire teeth, which you can get by killing vampires in this whole little injector thing. And then, you make your way over here to one of these fancy dancy chairs. And I go, all right, reverting back to normal human. And then, bam, you're back to normal again. And huzzah, happy day. And that's basically vampires and blood thing. Oh, yeah. Um, that is basically vampirism hunting mod, or the vampirism mod. Uh, it's got stuff to it. It's got a lot more. There's quests you can do with Vampire Hunter. Quests you can do with Vampire. It's very multiplayer, interactive. It's very fun. It's very cool. Install it for Halloween. I hope to play multiplayer before and during or around Halloween. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Um, maybe we'll get a pack going. Who knows? Uh, I have less money than I thought I had. So that's fun. Anyhow's it. Thank you very much for watching. Checking this video. Checking out what Vampirism all is about. And... With that, I shall bid you adieu. We shall try to put this bear into something coherent and usable. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.